Happy Easter! This look was achieved by Lavender Violets, which is the nail polish gel set that I will be reviewing and using to make this look happen. If you're new here, thank you for showing up. And if you're a regular, thank you so much for tuning in again. Welcome to my agenda where we think highly of ourselves and we are kind to others because if we aren't, then who will? If you enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like button, turn on your notifications, and subscribe if you're interested in more content just like this. Digging into the kit, you see there is a base coat and a top coat. There are 18 colors. They are all very vibrant and very, very pretty. I noticed that you don't really need two coats to make anything happen. Obviously, if you're going to be using the white or the light pink, you may want to double up. But other than that, these colors are a one coat type of deal and I love that. For this look, I did already put on my Kira Sky dupes, which are my McCart full set nails. I do have a video on that, which I will link down in the description. Check that out. So I am now trimming these nails because I want them to be round. I am just taking off the sides, making them kind of a point. That way when I go in and file, I'll be able to round them out. Look at my little Easter setup. I hope you guys enjoy it. It was fun to kind of just do something different. With that being said, I hope you enjoy your Easter if you celebrate. Here you see me just filing and rounding off those nails. They're really, really easy to manipulate. Um, I did notice if you press very hard on the longer nail portion, it can crack, so be mindful of that. Next, you wanna clean up all of your dust. Make sure you don't have any you know, cotton, anything like that hanging on the free edge because we are going to get ready to paint. Here you see me going in mindlessly with the blue. I forgot to put on my base coat. So here you go. I'm actually putting base coat on the rest of the nails and I'm going to sit back for a moment and let you just enjoy a bit of the process. I am making sure that if I paint over like my finger at any point, I'm going in and cleaning that up. I wanted these nails to look somewhat round, like an egg shape, I don't know, just tapping into that Easter vibe. Here I am putting um, little swatches of paint and I am using that to create a flower design. These flowers are super simple to achieve. Place a couple of dots and then just pull them together toward the center and voila. If you're a regular, you already know that I love to bling things out. Something has to sparkle no matter what, okay? So I have these little crystals. They are actually shaped like little diamonds. I thought they were super cute and super fun. I decided to add them to this look using some clear builder gel for adhesive. It was really easy, didn't take much effort. I go back in with my dotting tool and I put it into the center of the flowers and then I pick up some tweezers and add my little diamonds and then cure. After curing, it is time to go in with the top coat. I am very mindful not to put paint over the top of these diamonds. I just kind of want them to sparkle. Again, I typically put two coats of top coat, but whatever floats your boat, whatever is easiest for you, See, I'm being kind of careful. I don't want an extra clear layer on top of the stones because I've noticed that that hinders a lot of the shine that is natural to the stone. And the finishing touch is some rose oil. You can use any type of cuticle conditioner or just lotion, whatever you have around. I like this. Sometimes I get a little carried away if you've seen any of my other videos, but I feel that this just kind of nourishes the nail and the cuticle basically from filing everything that you've taken away. You know, you've stripped your nail, you've put alcohol on it. So go on and show your cuticle some love. If you're still hanging on, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is super easy. You should try it out. And if you do, please comment down below letting me know. Thank you again. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in more content just like this. Also turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. All of this stuff will be linked down below. So if you're interested, make sure you check the description box. That is going to be it for today. Thank you. And as always, share love, take care. Until next time. Bye.